Hello, in this video we are going to talk about platelets administration in transfusion therapy and how many bags it takes to get the levels back up. Platelets live up to 12 days in the blood, do not have nuclei and are unable to reproduce. They contain no hemoglobin. The hormone that stimulates platelet production is thrombopoietin. It is synthesized by the liver. Severe liver disease will lead to thrombocytopenia, low amount of platelets. Also, interleukin-6 leads to increase in release of thrombopoietin. During inflammation or injury, there is a release of interleukin-6, which leads to increased platelet count, which can lead to thrombocytosis, which is too much platelets. Also, in the body, there's a negative feedback loop to regulate platelet production. When platelet count is low, liver is stimulated to produce thrombopoietin. Extra platelets are also stored in the spleen. Spleen can hold on to one and a half of platelets if there's a splenomegaly is present. Normal platelets count are from 140,000 platelets per microliter to 440,000 platelets per microliter. And it seems that physicians are not going to do anything about it until it is below 50,000 or above 750,000. Platelets can be supplied either as random donor concentrates or from single donor apheresis. Random donor concentrates are prepared from individual units of whole blood by centrifuging the unit to separate the platelets. To prevent agglutination of the cells, platelets must be continuously agitated during storage. The expiration date is 24 hours without agitation. Single donor platelet apheresis products are collected from single donor. A single pheresis unit is equivalent to 6 to 8 units of random donor platelets. Use of a single donor unit has an obvious advantage of exposing the recipient to fewer donors and is ideal for treating patients who have developed human leukocyte antigen antibodies from previous transfusions and have become unresponsive to random donor platelets. Human leukocyte antigen typing may be indicated when patients become refractory to platelet after multiple transfusions. Important thing to mention, one platelet concentrate will raise the patient's platelet count by 10,000 platelets microliter. So let's solve a little problem. Patient is receiving eight units of platelets and patient's platelet count was 45,000. What is the expected levels on the redraw? So eight units are multiplied by 10,000 expected platelets per microliter and added to patient's previous platelet count, 45,000. So our Results are 125,000 uh, platelets per microliter is the expected values after 8 units of platelet transfusion. Administration. Platelets may be infused rapidly as the patient tolerates, with infusion rates ranging from 1 to 2 milliliters a minute for up to 5 milliliters for a single donor bag. The effectiveness of platelet transfusion affected by fever, infection, or active bleeding. To determine the effectiveness, platelet count checked one hour after transfusion. Poor platelet count recovery also indicated that the patient may be refractory to random donor platelets. Platelet concentrates may be pooled before administration or infused individually. 
After they are pulled, platelets should be transfused within 4 hours. There is a safety concern with the human leukocyte antigen alloimmunization, which is immunization to the donor antigens. Patients are able to mount an immune response against antigens on the platelets. Administration. The amounts usually 70 milliliter per unit and usually eight units are administered. Catheter size is usually 22 to 14 gauge. Usual rate is about one hour, over one hour. Filter is used uh, 170 to 260 microns and leukocyte reduction filter may be needed. Administration set uh, Y drip tubing will be necessary. Tubing should be rubber free to prevent platelets from sticking and use of normal saline um, as a primer will be necessary. Compatibility, um, ABO match is not really required for platelets but is preferred. The amount of red blood cells is minimal but occasionally is sufficient to elicit an antigen antibody response in the patient. So you have just made it to the end of the video. If you found the video useful, please click that like button. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Thank you for watching and I wish you great success.